All right, well, we need to identify the vertical asymptotes or the whole. We always want to look to factor, 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 okay? Don't just go ahead and try simplifying things. A lot of times students will go like, oh, these things, you know, divide it out to like x squared divided by x is going to equal an x and negative four divided by negative two is going to be a positive two. No, that is not correct. Simplify, simplify, simplify. It's, it's so important for um, when we're studying rational expressions to always look to simplify. So I notice here I have a difference of two squares. I can go ahead and factor that being x minus two, x plus two, and I can just delete the denominator as it is. Okay, now I'm gonna put parentheses on here, but you don't really need to, but I just want you to show that I have the exact same expression in my numerator as well as in my denominator. So therefore, via the division property, since these two quantities are separated by multiplication, I can now go ahead and divide those out. So now that's gonna leave me with an x plus two. Now this gets confusing for students because you're like, what is the whole, where did the asymptote go? I now have a linear equation. So what I think it's important to understand is this x minus two is a quantity that got removed. So remember, when we have a removable discontinuity, that is going to be representing as a whole. But how does a whole look like when we have an equation that just goes ahead and simplifies here to x plus two? So one thing I want you to do is like think about, well, why don't we go ahead and graph this? Okay, that is gonna be the equation of y equals x plus two. I know this is a, an equation and here's the function, but we're just the idea of graphing this equation. Now, what I want you to go back to is go back to the original problem, right? This x minus two got removed, okay? But however, in back into the original problem though, it, there still is an issue because what happens if my x value is equal to a positive two? Well, two minus two is equal to zero. So even though you can plug in a two into your simplified equation, going back to your original equation, x, cannot equal a positive two. So what that means is when I go over to my equation, right, here's my x-axis, go over to two, that is going to be represented by a whole, okay? So a whole, remember, is what we call a removable discontinuity. Through the simplifying process, it can be simplified. Now, one thing, a quick little mistake that students will make is they see the x equals negative two, and they'll say, oh, the whole is at x equals a negative two. No, 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 no. Remember, what we're doing is we're looking for the value that makes your denominator equal to zero. Negative two does not make my denominator equal to zero. Two is what makes my denominator equal to zero. So always go ahead and take your denominator, set it equal to zero, and go ahead and solve. And even though it got divided out to our simplified answer, it still is going to be a discontinuity of this function. So x does not equal negative two, but x equals two is going to be your whole.